Hi everyone, it's Candace Dorman from Emlyn Group Productions, and I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about sales. Sales feels like a dirty word. Every time it comes up in conversation, people often say to me, I'm not good at sales, or I don't want to be very salesy, or I don't want to, I don't want people to think that I'm super salesy. The truth of the matter is that if you're a small business owner and you don't have a team, you don't have a sales team, then you have to you have to do sales. If you're a small business owner and you're selling a product, then you're selling a product. If you're not selling a physical product, then you're either selling yourself as a brand or you're selling your ideas. Maybe you have a blog, maybe you do articles. Either way, sales is always a thing. Sales is always gonna be a thing. It's how the world goes around. It's how we exchange services. It's, it's how exchanges happen. And so I don't want you to be afraid of sales. I don't want you to be afraid of offering your product or service, which is awesome because you've put so much time and energy into it. I don't want you to be afraid of offering this dope product that you have to someone because you're afraid of sales. We're not in the time of the salesman with the tan suit and the briefcase and the Encyclopedia Britannica's. Like we're not in that time anymore. It's a different world, but it's all still sales. And so if you want your business to thrive, right? If you want your blog to thrive, you probably want some ad revenue, right? If you want your product to get sold, you need it to be sold. You need people to buy it. I've even found that you have to sell free things. Like literally, you have to sell free things. You have to convince people that they need what you're offering, even if it's free. You can't get away from sales. We, we can't get away from sales. Even, I feel like sometimes I have to sell my kids on why they should go to bed at night. Like we just are always in a mode of selling. So I don't want you to be afraid of selling. I don't want you to be afraid of telling people, of showing people that what you have to offer this world is incredible and worth having and worth exchanging exchanging money for, exchanging another service for, exchanging a discount code, whatever it is, there's something you want to exchange for this service that you're giving. And if you, if you tell people about it and they are your target person, right? They're gonna want it. So don't, don't be afraid. Also in business, it is sales. Nobody is doing you a favor by buying this thing, whatever this thing is. It's not, oh, I do this thing. Um, if you, would you like to maybe? Nobody is exchanging money for favors. What you have to offer is incredible. I haven't even seen it yet. And I know that it's incredible because if you have gone out on a limb to start a business around it, you have probably put hours and hours and hours of time into making it awesome. A little bit of that is fear, but a lot of that is pride and dedication to the thing that you do. So don't sell it short. Don't sell it short by being timid around offering whatever it is that you have to offer to people. We want it, we need it, whatever it is. We, we, we want and need things we don't even need, let alone this awesome product or service that you have to give that people actually need. So as we're thinking about how to move forward with our business as we're thinking about the coming holiday season when it's the busiest season of the year, the busiest, busiest shopping season of the year, whether that is for retail or services, right? I want you to push your shoulders back. I want you to pick your head up. I want you to remember that you are an expert at what you do. You are an expert at that thing it is that you have to offer and nobody can do it the way that you can do it. So if someone decides they don't want your service, let them go. Let them go and find somebody else to, to do that thing. They'll probably come back to you because you're probably the most awesome at doing it the way that you do it. <laughs> so stand up straight, drop your shoulders, pick up your chin and get to it. Get to being a salesperson. If you can't sell your item, nobody else is gonna be able to. And nobody else is gonna be able to sell it the way you can. So just get to it. All right, that's enough out of me. Um, I'm gonna go get my sales on. Bye.